All right, folks. It's me, Jesse Littleton, a.k.a. Grand Bell Fisher, one more time. Um, so the past few days this, have been incredible, amazing, scary, frightening, hurt, yeah, exciting, funny, hilarious, creepy, weird. Um, but I think I'm, I'm good. I've got, as you so, some of you have probably seen, I've well, I had the surgery and they took the left lower lobe of my lung. Um, everything went great. I'm breathing on my own now. They took out the chest tube. Um, super exciting. So I feel good. I feel really good. Uh, they took out my epidural this morning. Just a really long needle um, that goes into your spine. You didn't feel anything coming out. They took out my chest tube. You saw that. Um, and that was really numbed down, so that was good. You know, just the sensation of something coming out of your body, you know, it's just bizarre. Uh, and then they uh, took out my catheter today, which you saw. And, uh, but I'm just leaving here left with, what do I say now? Um, you know, I think what I'm going to do is take this part of my life and um, this documentary, or what it's been so far, is I've been titling it, you know, a part of me, and I think throughout my life, especially the last 10 years, we've been filming um, everything, like, of my journey with music and, and uh, traveling, and um, so I think it's all going to come together, and I'll continue to give you little blurbs maybe of some of this, but uh, what's ahead of me next is uh, life for the first time in a long time. Uh, not to be that drama dramatic about it, but something has been off. You know, I've been off and I feel a bit lost and I feel like I'm really gonna find, uh, I'm just really gonna find myself and I think I have. And I just got finished walking the walk around the halls, no help, just uh, nothing in my body except, <clears throat> you know, half a lung less and a bigger heart, and uh, heart's feeling good too. Um, but what I'm going to do is go home and heal, and that's going to take a while. Uh, and one of those things that I'm up against on that process is um, being on uh, like a Percocet or an Oxycodone, um, which for a lot of people uh, is a problem to have that looming in your life, and I'm one of those people. Um, you know, I've had a very addictive personality my whole life. I've done a lot of different drugs and things like that, and um, you know, and uh, but I don't, I might, I don't have any fears. But what you'll see when I finally put this all together is how quickly I think that you can get that out of your life. Yeah, it'll be a challenge for sure. Anything addicting is, um, but I'm really gonna try with my heart and soul to show you how it's not an excuse. Um, mind over matter, you know what I mean? And uh, I'm gonna push through and beat this and heal and um, not that let that become a, a wrench in my life, monkey on my back, anything like that. Um, and I've had those before and they're never worth it. So, um, but that's coming up uh, for the healing process. But long story short, thanks for watching. Uh, thank you for letting me express myself this way. Um, it's been a phenomenal and therapeutic thing for me. The feedback has been amazing. I think some people have gotten some help uh, with some stuff they've got going on in their life. But, uh, yeah, the whole story's coming. So I'm not sure exactly when, but it'll be sooner than later. And uh, my love to all uh, the people in my life that I love. You know how much I love you. Um, Nothing better than being in love. Nothing better than being loved. And, uh, like the Beatles said, love, 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 love. All right, we'll see you soon.